Well, there's a surprise. Making good progress, I see.
More building to do. Can't have a novice like you get into the top. You're all right, young un. I'm right on. And what do you want with a sculptor like me, eh? You're looking for the crown spinners. Ah, those old gemstones, is it? They've been out of my family for donkey's years. I've never even laid eyes on them myself. This is what I heard like. One of my ancestors put them in a... Ooh, ah, this damn... Anyway, I heard one of my ancestors... That's right. It was the pinnacle of her career, they say. Her best work. Where's the statue now? I can honestly say, all I can tell you is the lady's name. If this old block of mine isn't letting me down. Her name was Alexandra. That's about it, I'm afraid. Unless there's something else I can help you. What? My son said I should pay him a visit once in a while. <laughs> there's no time for that. If a novice like you can get to the top of my tower, I've got my hands full here. I'll just have to build it higher. The only way is up, as they say.
Wait, brave travelers. I am Alexandra. Many years past, I lived in your world. It was my hands that sculpted this statue. Let me tell you a tale. A forgotten moment lost in the great ocean of history. The story of the bloodline of the sages. I was born into the Crambartle family. A family descended from one of the legendary Seven Sages. But my generation saw the legacy of the Sages pass to the Albert family when I married. You see, I was the chosen heir. The blood of the Sages has remained in the Albert family ever since. But that lineage was severed by a dark and evil power when the life of the latest chosen heir, Alistair, was ended. Nevertheless, I am an ancestor of the Albert family. So, I will do everything I can to help preserve the Albert family line. I want you to take the Cran Spinels from the statue. I have no doubt they will be of use to you. Now Jessica is the only one who can continue the Albert family line. I beseech you to go to her aid. Disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I talk you in. And this is how you repay me. I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I, I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold! Just who do you think you are? Oh, oh, oh. Has this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has. Such impertinence. No doubt the vile thereabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master. You must believe me. I would never serve Leopold, Sir Leopold, poison. Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Not like that. On your hands and knees. That's it. It suits your diet. Well, said Leopold, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Diving. Sir Leopold is as much your master as I am. 
I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Now, you're back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I hope that little saying before didn't upset you is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Have you got... <laughs> I won't have you bore me with details. Yes. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy. Making an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with thee. And I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Dominico is an honor, is it so? Let me reward. Very good. From this mouth. Come this. This leads to my secret library. The book is called
What on earth took you so long? That pesky wand-waving beanbow is turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? Don't disappoint me. Yes. Yes. Now, let me see. What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see just before you go? Now that you're in top. to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Dominico? <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity that you should die never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Koopas, one of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathor! And that, David, what a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. Ha 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 I wondered when you turn up. Fine. I knew I'd have to fight you somewhere along the way. Still. I have to admit, I'll be a little sad to watch you die.
It's not possible. N no human could match the power of the scepter. You won't get away with this. Now, you'll see the true power of this scepter. Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the sages. This town will burn, and every one of you will perish. Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time. The barrier is ready. You villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? You'll have to break through my barrier first! Alakazam! Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. What? Why on earth? Well, well. So, this girl is... And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeat... Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect. There won't be any, um, <clears throat> financial... Wait. Where's Sir Leopold? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes master. I heard this story from my great grandmother. She told me how her own great grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So... Maybe that's why you're so good at them too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you are, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you. But one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. Too. King Troad. Gov. What... What happened? I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? 
You disappeared the day after we defeated Dormagus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dormagus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness. Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes. Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages, so his Rapthorn once terrorized the world. And it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those sages' heirs. Master Rylas, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat, too. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? I don't know, but there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept... That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No! David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on! We must find the scepter before it's too late.
please. Go after Sir Leopold. He, he's, he's the only one who makes us to the Minico happy. Without Sir Leopold, us to the Minico would, would be so unhappy. What, what, David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Cooper's? Why has it taken me so long to realize? I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... I no. Just thinking about it is too painful. It's unbearable. I must apologize if I... It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go. If only I'd realized all this. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. Will you do me one last fa- I know it was my Leopold. Will you destroy him for me? Will you have- That creature isn't my Leopold, and it I know this- won't make a m and I owe you something too for all the trouble I have caught. <sighs> I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential. I allow me to e people say. They saw Leopold heading north out of town. I'm sorry to have to ask. Wait a minute, Gov. Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter, so I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, 
but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we've found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Sorry, did that come out a bit strange? Oh yeah, well at least I don't look strange. <laughs> you should look in the mirror sometime. Sleepyhead. I'm so, and I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. 
Even if Father and I are still cursed. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every- You know what's strange though? That you weren't affected by the curse. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about it. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you.